the Lord tonight. Just exalt his name. Amen. So we all will know this song. So I'm going to ask that you join in with me. Amen. I love you, Lord. And I live.
please grant precision of expression, yes, Father. Lord, Lord yes, God, Lord. open up the hearts and minds, oh God, to understand and receive, oh God, what you have given, oh God. Yes. Lord God, hide me behind the cross, oh God. Yes, Lord. God, that your words, oh God, will speak through me, oh yes, God. Lord. For your glory, oh God. For speak your glory. to us, oh God. Yes. Speak to our hearts. Speak to our yes, spirit, Lord. man, oh God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Jesus God, we Jesus. thank you, God for what you are doing, God. We thank, thank you for you. what you are about to do, God. God, we thank you for the next level yes. in you, God. Yes. God, we thank you, oh God. We put our faith, our trust, yes. and our hope, oh God, in you, oh yes. God. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving in our hearts. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, well, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. God is awesome. Yes, he is. And uh, we just give him all of the glory. Yes. And uh, wow, we just we just honor him once Hallelujah. today. Hallelujah. Uh, we welcome everyone uh, to Empowerment Tuesday. Hallelujah. Empowerment Tuesday. Thank um, you. Pastor Anthony and Spoken Word Fellowship church and uh i am lady british thomas and i will be sharing with you uh what what god has placed on my heart to empower you uh to empower us yes. as his people as we move forward as we move forward um thank you for all of you who are Hallelujah. here Hallelujah. thank you for those who are joining us on periscope welcome oh, and welcome to spoken word fellowship and um, we're just, you know, excited about what God is doing. Hallelujah. We are excited about what God is doing. Before I move forward, we also want to thank those who joined Pastor Anthony last Wednesday Hallelujah. for uh, the men's prayer gathering. Uh, on the phone, men were praying thank and seeking God. God. Thank Hallelujah. God for the mind to even pray and go before the Lord to get vision and uh, to just share with the Lord what's on our hearts. So thank God for the men and uh, thank thank God for those of you who joined Pastor Anthony last Wednesday. And we also invite you to enjoy to join him every Wednesday during yes. the month yes. of June uh, as he will be praying with men for 15 minutes, just 15 minutes uh, at 7 a.m. And the conference number that you can call is actually 712-432-1212. One two. Again, that's seven one two four three two one two one two, and the access code is eight seven six five five eight seven six eight. Again, the access code is eight seven six five five eight seven six eight. And we ask that you share with your spouses, your sons, your brothers, any male acquaintances you have, share with them to call in for the prayer. And that will be tomorrow morning, Wednesday at 7 a.m. Also, um, you know, that it will take place for the entire month of June. And we know uh, in a couple of weeks, we will be celebrating fathers Hallelujah. this month of June. So we definitely praise God for the fathers. And uh, even moving forward, I'd like to honor uh, my husband, Pastor Anthony, in his Amen. absence um, as he's uh, taking care of business this evening. And, I'm very humbled <laughs> that he asked me to uh, share with you on tonight in his stead. Wow. <laughs> I dare not take this lightly. Um, so I, I'm just going to share what's in my spirit. Amen. And, um, you know, I just ask that you pray with me, pray for me. And uh, we're going to open our ears and our hearts uh, to receive um, what uh, is shared on this evening. So we're going to uh, dive in here. Um, Last week, um, Pastor Anthony, he talked about thriving, yes. and, and I'm actually going to continue on that this week, okay? Um, Pastor Anthony, he, he reminded us several things, uh, several areas last week uh, as it pertains to thriving, and he encouraged us quite a bit, and I'm going to continue to encourage that encouragement. Uh, he taught from Psalm, um, the first chapter, the first through the six verses. Uh, he was actually reminding us who we are and who we are not, in addition to why we do what we do. Uh, here we also find how blessed we are because God is who causes us to thrive. And uh, in this song, we're also reminded um, that blessed is the man 
um, who thrives by turning from evil Amen. and building our lives around, bless you, around the word of God. Uh, Pastor also reminded us that wisdom begins with fearing the Lord. Now, this isn't, you know, the type of fear someone have when, you know, the result of watching a scary movie or something and they become, you know, horrified or terrified. You know, that's not God's desire. God did not give us, you know, he doesn't desire for us to be fearful in that sense. But uh, this type of fear that Pastor talked about last week was actually reverential fear. Yes. Okay, and this fear is simply having a deep respect for someone or something. And when we respect someone, we listen to them, we value their perspectives. Yes. Um, and, you know, we just, we, we put their thoughts and their, you know, their, uh, their stance on a matter, you know, in a, in a high place. You know, it, it, it stands pretty firm in our hearts, you know, that type of uh, reverential fear and, and, and respecting, you know, someone. And uh, in this case, of course, we were talking about the reverential fear regarding God. Um, and also in fearing or uh, reverencing or respecting our God, his word matters, okay? God's word matters. His instructions to us actually should be priority when making moves and making decisions. And, you know, in society today, making moves is a buzzword. You know, you hear a lot of people saying, you know, I'm making moves, you know, I'm making moves. And, you know, and that's good. This is very important. Um, everyone is talking about making moves, but we have to be make sure we have to make sure that we're also in God's face yes. as we're making these moves by way of prayer and asking him for direction, you know, so we can make moves and give him glory for what we're doing and be in his will. So um, we're still talking about thriving. We're, we're going to continue to talk about thriving. Uh, Pastor also talked to us, he, he also talked to us last week about having wisdom, yes. okay? Having wisdom and having knowledge and having understanding. Yes. And all of these three, they actually puts us on the road to success. Yes. Again, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It puts us on the road to success. And in addition to that, we must be rooted. We must be rooted and grounded in God. Uh, as mentioned even in Psalm 1, being like that tree that's planted by the water, the river water. So um, I want everyone to repeat after me. Um, I was made. I was made. To thrive. To thrive. Again, I was made. I was made. To thrive. To thrive. And I want you to keep that in your inner thoughts. Actually, I want that to, you know, just saturate in your spirit, okay? Because I want you to, you know, by the end of this this uh, teaching tonight, I want you to be reminded that you were made to thrive. Amen. We were made to thrive, okay? And we're going to discuss a few principles tonight to make sure we thrive, okay, amen? All amen. right. Amen. So um, let's review the definition of thrive, okay? Uh, first of all, we know that it's a verb, and a verb is an action word. Okay, and thrive actually means to grow or develop well or vigorously. So vigorously means in a way that involves physical strength, effort, or energy. Okay, mm -hmm. it also means to prosper or flourish, to do well, to increase. Okay, mm -hmm. we're still talking about this word thrive. Okay, mm -hmm. and these are different meanings of thrive. Okay. So as we discuss principles to actually um, cause us to thrive, let's point out some key words here. And I want you to write this down. The first word is trust, okay? Trust, also hear, also revelation, identify, vision, and energy. I repeat that, trust, hear, revelation, identify, vision, and energy, okay? So if you put all of these uh, words together, actually the acronym, it, it makes out thrive, okay? All right. Trust, hear, revelation, identify vision and energy 
So let's look at this trust word. <laughs> Woo! As believers, mm-hmm. as believers, we must first trust God with our lives. Amen. That's first and foremost. Our trust in God is is a, is actually an act of our faith in Him, and we know that the Word of God tells us without faith it's impossible to please God. So uh, I want you to repeat after me this affirmation: I trust God. I trust God with my life. With my life. Okay. So again, I want that to get in your spirit. Because these are things that we really have to rehearse in our minds and we have to remind ourselves daily. Yes. Because we experience some things that will test our trust in him. Amen. And so we have to speak these things out of our mouths Amen. because there is power of life and death mm-hmm. in our tongue, in the things that we say. So to say that we trust God with our lives and that, you know, yoke up with our hearts and with our spirits, Amen. you know, then we look up, we are trusting God. You know, it, it has to be more than just what we say out of our mouths, but this thing really has to be in our spirits because um, we see some things and we experience some things and we truly have to trust God with our lives. Let's look at um, Psalm, the ninth chapter, and the tenth verse. Psalm 9 and 10, okay? Psalm, the ninth chapter, in the 10th verse it says and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee for thou Lord has not forsaken them that seek thee Amen. so first of all who are they that know thy name we are Amen. Believers, yeah. those who have declared out of their mouths and, and yeah. with their hearts that God is God. God is our creator. God is, you know, he's everything. He was, who is, and is to come. I mean, he's sovereign. Those of us who recognizes his character, those of us who recognizes his infinite power, his infinite wisdom, that, that's who they that know thy name are. And it says that they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. So those who those of us who are actually in relationship with the Father, yes. we're the ones who we declare our trust in God. You know, this is um this is something that we have to, you know, get not only remind ourselves of, but remind those who are around us who may not trust God. You know, because again, we're talking about thriving. If we're going to thrive, we have to trust he who causes us to thrive. Amen. You know, it's when we, when we see these things happening in our lives and when we see ourselves soaring and, and we see the increase, you know, it's not because we're able to do this on our own. It's not because we have our own power and we're so smart and we're so intelligent or we got 500 degrees behind well, our names. Well, you know, it's, it's on, not man. about that. And, and that's good, but we can't accomplish those things without the Lord giving us the ability to do it. Amen. So it's, it's our trust in him that causes us to thrive. And this uh, latter part actually says, um, it says we will put our trust in thee. First of all, let's look at the word trust too. Mm-hmm. Trust is firm belief in the reliability, right. truth, ability or strength of someone or something amen so we rely on god's truth yes. his word yes on god's ability yes and his strength that that's inside of us that actually causes us to thrive amen. you know so this is again this is our trust in him and and we see the results you know we see the results on a daily basis you know the scriptures say we you know, without him, we, we can't do nothing. You know, it's truly in him that we live, we move, and we have our being. Amen. So everything uh, that we're able to do, we do it because of him. And this latter part actually says, For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them mm-hmm. that seek thee. Mm-hmm. So in other words, God is not going to let us down. He will not betray those who go after him. He won't do it. He's not a God that he would lie, no. nor the son of man that he would repent. His word cannot return back into him void. 
He said he would never leave us nor forsake us, even when it seems like he's not there. When, it, when, it, when we can't feel him, when we can't see him. And my God, we all have those days where we're like, yeah, God, man. where are you? You know, God, I, I, I need you. We, I don't feel you. But we have to trust and we have to know that he's there. So that's why we have to repeat these affirmations. You know, I trust God with my life. I don't see him right now. All right. You know, I, I got this situation, but I trust God with my life. All right. We have to say this. We have to speak it. And we have to believe it. Amen. So again, the affirmation you know, is I trust God with my life. And Proverbs, another scripture, Proverbs 16 and 20, uh, the Message Bible uh, version actually says, this is Proverbs, again, Proverbs 16 and 20. It says, it pays to take life seriously. Things work out when you trust God. So, I mean, we sing the song, and the song actually came from the scripture. Amen. All Amen. things working for my good. He's intentional. <laughs> so, yes, all things are working for our good. Yes. Remember, we're still talking about thriving. And thriving doesn't happen overnight. It happens over time. So there are some things that we have to go through. There are some processes that we have to go through. And then the end results we see we see us thriving. We see ourselves thriving. So it says it, uh, it pays to take life seriously. Yes, life, life is serious. You know, we only have one life. We only have one time to get it right. Just one time to get it right down here. Amen. You know, and then it says things work out when you trust God. So yes, things are working out. I mean, we have process number one, process number two. So these are steps that we take. You know to get to the end result so yes things are working out when we trust god so again the affirmation is what i trust god with my life okay so now we're going to move on to the next word which is here as believers we must hear hear what the voice of the lord all right now you know when you know, you have that million dollar business plan, you know, and every, and you go and talk to this person, that person, you know, you talk, and there's nothing wrong with, with getting wise counsel, okay? And you begin to hear different voices. You know, you hear those who, you, the voices of those you, you talk to and, you know, your different mentors and things, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, we need to hear the voice of the Lord. Amen. In order to thrive, we really need to hear the voice of the Lord. Uh, John 10 and 27, John 10 and 27, it says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Mm -hmm. So first of all, it says, my sheep. That's possessive. <laughs> so as believers, yes, we belong to God. We are sheep, and God is our shepherd. And yes, he leads us. Yes. He leads us. And it, it says that he that as his sheep, we listen to his voice. So how are we going to listen to his voice? We have to spend time with him in prayer, spend time with him in worship, and spend time in his word. Amen. And it also says, I know them and they follow me. He knows us. Mm -hmm. He knew us before we entered our mother's Amen. womb. Amen. You know, he knows everything about us. He knows the, the strands of hairs on our head. God knows everything thing about us. He know the plans that he has for us. And yes. because he know us, it's important that we follow him. In order to thrive, we must follow his plan. Because we, we're learning his plan. And in order to get his plan, Amen. we got to get in his face in prayer. Amen. You know, to actually find out, Lord, what, what is the plan? I know you 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 made me to thrive. So yes. what's the plan for me to get there? Amen. You know, and so spending time with him in prayer, you know, I get the instructions. We get the instructions from him, you know, in prayer. And we actually follow the instructions. Also, you know, in worship, giving, spending that time in worship, you know, with God, just, you know, not necessarily, you know, seeking, 
you know, so much from him, but just letting him know how much we appreciate him. And God speaks to us through that time because that's, that's his way of showing his appreciation for us appreciating him. Amen. You know, so that time in worship is so key. And then time in his word. Oh, oh my goodness. You know, his word is, it, this is where, this is our instructions. This is our map, you know, that he's given us. And, and we have to simply ask, you know, how do we, how do we know, you know, what he's telling us? We have to ask him, Lord, you know, what are you saying to me through your word? You know, and, and asking God for discernment, you know, to, to be able to understand and then be able to know, you know, Lord, this is you. Lord, you know, you're leading me, you're instructing me, you're guiding me. So, you know, when we think about sheep, <laughs> sheep are naturally dumb animals. So that's why sheep need shepherd. Amen. And when we listen, you know, as sheep, when we listen to our shepherd, when we listen to our God for instructions, you know, we're asking him, you know, where to go and who to go with, you know, asking him how to thrive. You know, we actually get the answers to this in prayer and worship and in his word. So our affirmation is, Lord, Lord, Lord I God, will obey your Lord. voice. I will obey your voice. I will obey your voice. Amen. Amen. So we uh, we talked about trust and we talked about hear. Now we look at uh, the word revelation. You know, as believers, we need revelation. And then, you know, we must, you know, actually uh, think and reflect on this revelation that's given, that, that the Lord gives us. Uh, little time with God, little revelation. Much mm -hmm. time with God, much revelation. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at 1 Corinthians, uh, the second chapter, the 9th through the 11th verse. Again, that's 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, the 9th through 11th verses. Starting at verse 9, it says, Rather as it is written, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed it to us by the Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Mm -hmm. For among, for who among men knows the thoughts of man except his own spirit within him? So too, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. So who is going to give us this revelation that we need? The spirit of God. Amen. This is why we need the spirit of God inside of us. In order to get revelation and get understanding about, you know, what God is doing. Because, you know, God, as we say, God, God wants us to thrive. But there, as we go through the process, we need revelation of where we are now. You know, so it could also give us a revelation of where we're going. Amen. You know, we don't understand where we are now. We're not going to understand the process of where we're going. And then we're really not going to be able to handle where we're going when we get there. Because we didn't get revelation of the process. Amen. So revelation is so important. And, you know, again, that comes from spending time in prayer, in worship, and in God's word. Notice it says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed it to us by his spirit. God has so much for us. God Amen. has put so much inside of us. And he wants us to, to receive, you know, um, an understanding and, and, and get that, you know, that, just get a little peep there into <laughs> what he has for us. Because he can't reveal all of it at one time because we can't handle it all right. <laughs> you know we let's be honest sometimes we can mess our we can mess things up ourselves yes you know so right. he knows how much to reveal and when to reveal amen it. so thank god for being all wise and all knowing <laughs> so you know again he reveals these things to us by his spirit amen so thank god 
Thank God for his spirit. He, you know, he doesn't leave us out here, you know, just blinded. You know, God don't want us to be blinded. He wants us to, you know, to have an understanding. Again, it also goes with trust. Yes. Because, no, he's not going to reveal everything. So we have to trust that even that which is not revealed, God is still in control. Amen. And God still got it. Amen. So, again, we have to you know, speak these affirmations and, you know, really yoke it up with our hearts and, and make sure that we are, you know, again, trusting God. Make sure we're trusting God. So we must get in God's face so his spirit can reveal unto us his plan for us to thrive. Amen. And our affirmation is what? I will seek God. I, I will, will seek, seek God, God for revelation and understanding. For revelation and understanding. Again, I will seek God I will for seek revelation. God. For revelation and understanding and understand. Amen. Amen. So, um, the next uh, letter here is, is I for identify. Yes. Identify. We must identify. Identify what? We must identify what God has placed inside of us Amen. to thrive. Amen. God has given us everything we need. He really has. Amen. You know, and, and a lot of times we don't identify it right away. And when we don't identify what's inside of us, you know, to thrive, you know, we're actually like living beneath our privilege. You know, we're not totally uh, functioning at our best because we're not using, you know, what we have inside of us. Sometimes we think we don't have what we need, but in reality, actually, God has given yeah. us yeah. Uh, what, what we need inside of us. And um, we must actually identify that. We must identify also what is valuable to us and protect it. You know, when we value something, we don't just, you know, put it out and open or, you know, just, you know, make it a free for all or, you know, we protect it because it means something. You know, it, 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 it carries weight, you know, it, ca it has a, a very, you know, it's priceless. Yes. It, it has high meaning. And, and that which God has placed inside of us is precious. Amen. It's very precious. Yes, God has called, he has called us to thrive. And that which he's placed inside of us is actually going to give us the ability to thrive. We have gifts and talents, you know, that God has given us. You know, and these these are things that God has given us. Actually, that's going to help you know carry us to the next level. Amen. Uh, let's look at Romans, uh, the twelfth chapter, the fourth through the sixth verses. Romans, the twelfth chapter, the fourth through the sixth verses. Just as each of us has one body mm -hmm. with many members, and not all members have the same function, so in Christ we who are many are one body, and each member belongs to one another. And in the, sixth, the beginning of the sixth verse says, we have different gifts according to the grace given us. And it goes on to talk about, you know, the different um, uh, gifts that the Lord has given. So, yes, all of what God has given all of us gifts. As a matter of fact, the Bible said gifts and callings come without repentance. Yes. So we have them. We have what it takes. Look, if you have to look in the mirror every day and remind yourself, look, I am not a mistake. God Amen. has invested in me. God has given me what I need to thrive. Do that. Do that. Don't let no devil in hell Amen. basically, you know, lie to you yes. and tell you that you don't have what it takes. Remember, as believers, God has given us what we need. And if we if we think we don't have it, look, we need to go to him in prayer Amen. and ask him to show it to us and Amen. reveal it to us because it's there. It is there. God has invested in you. God has put, he has put more in you than you realize. Amen. You got to remember that. You have to, you know, remind yourself, look, I I alone am a gift from God. Amen. And so, you know, being a gift from God, you know, I'm, 
I'm important to him. And God loves me. God has God loves me so much where, you know, he provides, he 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 gives what I need to get to the next level. So we have to identify, you know, identify these these things inside of us. You know, and then once we identify it, you know, protect it, but also use it. You know, use what he's given you. God has given you everything you need to thrive, okay? He's giving you everything you need to thrive. So ask him, Amen. Lord, help me identify what's inside of me so I can thrive, okay? So identify your gifts and invest in it. Invest in it. You know, once God show you, you know, you know your gifts and, and your talents and the things that he's investing, that he's investing in you, now you invest in it. You know, uh, yoke up with someone who, you know, who can uh, so, you know, favorably into you, someone who's going to speak life into Amen. you. Amen. You know, come together with someone who, who believes in you and who trusts in you. You know, so they they too can serve as an encouragement to you. You know, you if you if you surround yourself around people who, you know, are always negative and you know, they have this negative energy and you know, you don't see them thriving and you know, and going after God and going after things of God and you know, going after that which is going to cause them to thrive, then you know, it may be time to cut them off and let them go. Amen. Because you want to, number one, fulfill God's purpose in your life. And, and in fulfilling his purpose in your life, you will thrive. You can't help but thrive with God. You can't help but thrive with him. So, you know, you invest in it again by, you know, connecting with people who, even those who have done what, what you're doing or done what you're, you know, um, you're aiming to do, you know, find out what... Hey, you know, what did you do? You know, how did you get there? You know, you're, you're learning from their example. Mm -hmm. You know, again, um, even communication can rust good manners. You know, so Amen. You, you don't want, you know, the bad habits and the bad spirits yes. of others, yes. you know, to corrupt the good that God has put in you. So you also invest in it by, you know, getting education, you know, going to school and getting the knowledge you know, that's needed, again, to do, you know, to um, maximize, you know, the potential and, and, and that which God has invested in you Amen. to thrive. Amen. Amen. You know, this the information that you have, you know, is so important because it allows you to take things to another level. You're also showing God that you appreciate what he's put inside of you. Amen. You know, I mean, if you, you know, just... Once you identify, you know, these gifts and what God has placed in you to thrive and you don't do anything with it, you, you're not really showing God that you appreciate, Amen. you know, what he did. Amen. You know, don't you like those who, Amen. you know, God blessed with the talents and, you know, you have them over here, go and hide them. You know, no, don't do that. You know, actually take them and use them. You know, yes. use them and, 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 you know, invest into it and, and you know, do what you need to do to make sure that you go, you take it to the next level. And watch God bless Amen. your efforts. God will bless your efforts. Just, you know, show, you're showing him, Father, I appreciate, you know, what you've given me. And, and you'll see him, you know, opening doors for you again. This is what's going to cause you to thrive. You know, you're showing God that you appreciate what he's put inside of you. He'll open up those doors. Yes, he'll, he will. he'll lead you. You know, he'll he'll give the revelation. You know, people will begin to sow into you and you know he'll you know he'll just give you favor, you know, with other people because they'll begin to see, you know, that you are are investing, you know, in what God has placed inside of you. So identify it and make sure, you know, again you protect it and also make sure you invest in it. Okay? Again, we're yet talking about thriving. And so the affirmation is I will I will identify identify my gift. My gift and invest in it. And invest in it. Amen. You identify your gift and invest in it. And then we get to V for vision. Amen. Okay? We all need vision in order to thrive. Um, we look at Proverbs, uh, the 29th chapter, the 18th 
verse. Again, Proverbs, the 20, 29th chapter, the 18th verse, very familiar scripture Amen. here. Uh, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So without a vision, you know, where are you going? You know, if you have no vision, you know, the, and, and vision comes from God. God gives us the vision and it's up to us, you know, to act upon it. I actually, um, I meant to bring it tonight. It's in my, uh, one of my work bags, but, uh, I've been inspired. I have now probably five different journals. Amen. <laughs> And I mean, in these different, each journal has a different purpose. Amen. And one of the journals that I have is my vision journal. Amen. And in this journal, I'm writing down, you know, the uh, the ideas and the visions that God has given me. You know, I, I'm putting it in writing. Amen. And and I'm believing that they're going to come to pass. Amen. 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 Because again, the visions that God gives you. He will make the provision. Yes, he will. This vision comes from God. He has to make the provision. Amen. He has to. So we need vision inside of us. And the vision is actually going to help us to see, you know, the end result. You know, it's going to see where God will is taking us, you know, and where he will cause us to thrive. Now, again, it says where there's no people, no vision, the people perish. If you have no vision... You're just existing, you know. You're, you're you're going through life, you know, every day, and it's like, okay, whatever happens, that's what happens, and you're fine with that, and that's not a good place to be. It's it's not a good place to be, you know, where you're just satisfied with yeah. whatever you know yeah. life offers you. You know, you don't seek God and ask Him for revelation. You know, you know. Why is this happening? What do I need to do, you know, to change my situation? You know, what do I need to do to get to the next level? Again, we got to go before the Lord, Amen. even to get this vision. Amen. You know, and ask him, Lord, you know, what is the vision for my life? What is the vision for my family? Amen. You know, what is, you know, what is the, very, the vision for my career? You know, um, should I have a business? You know, so what is the vision for my business? Amen. You know, asking God, you know, to give it to us because he has it for us. He has it for us. And again, it's up to us to actually act upon it. It's very important that we act upon the vision inside of us. And there is vision there. There is vision there. So so do know that. If you haven't discovered, you know, what your vision is, look, go before the Lord and ask him. Ask him. So, um, again, the affirmation is, I will fulfill my God-given vision. Again, repeat after me. I will, I will, I will fulfill, fulfill my God-given vision. My God-given vision. Amen. And so we're going to look at uh, the last letter here, which is energy. Amen. Okay? you got to have energy to thrive. <laughs> Woo, it's nothing like trying to get something done, tired, mm -hmm. you know, no energy behind it, no excitement behind it. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go here and, you know, build this monument tomorrow. I mean, who's going to follow you? You know, who's going to be excited with you? You're not even excited for yourself. Amen. If you're going to thrive, if you're going to, you know, fulfill this vision and, you know, bring this vision to pass that God has given you, you got to be excited. You got to be excited. That is very important. You got to have that energy, okay? You have to have the energy behind uh, your excitement. Because, look, I'm excited about everything that God has Amen. for me. And I'm excited about everything that God has for you as well. You know what? Because I'm rejoicing with them that rejoice. I know you're excited, at least I hope you're excited, about what God is doing in your life and God causing you to thrive. So guess what? I'm excited with you. 